Okay, let's pick up where we left off and create a subsystem from these blocks that I have here. See, I have a subsystem there. Let's make that line up looking real neat. And let's create a uh, mask from this. Create a mask from this. <clears throat> okay, this is going to open up our mask editor. I want to include an icon here. Let's go ahead and apply that, and you'll see that now I have, I pulled that off of Google Images, uh, just a typical spring mass uh, damper diagram. I pulled it right off Google Images. That tells me, now I know what that is when I, when I look at that, okay? And let's put in the parameters that we created. Spring uh, stiffness. Okay. Damping coefficient. Uh, or damping constant, I should say. See. Let's call this let's call this spring constant. And let's do one oops. Let's do one more. Let's do the mass. And that's M. And we'll apply that. Okay, we can go ahead and close that out now. Now, if I click on this, it's going to ask me what these were, and the, I believe the spring constant was 40, damping uh, constant was 8.8, .8, and the mass was 1. Okay, and if we ran it right now, we get the exact same we get the exact same result, but we want to put a proportional controller in here. So let's go ahead and do that, uh, and we we can do that by Simply putting in, um, let's actually do this the, the right way here. Let's uh, go to continuous. And let's actually put a transfer function in here. Uh, let's get rid of him. And I haven't done this before, so if it messes up, you'll have to bear with me while I fix it. Okay, and we open this up. We can see that uh, this is a constant. This is going to be, for us, it's going to be... KP, we'll call it KP, uh, or K proportional, okay? And then underneath, we're just going to have over 1. Okay, and we'll apply that, and that should be okay, I believe. Yep, it is. Okay, so we need to add a summing block. Math operators. Okay. And this is for our feedback signal. Unitary feedback. Whoops. There we go. Apply. Okay. And let's go around and just grab the signal coming back here. And now uh, we better put a KP in here. Or we'll, we'll get a bunch of zeros. Uh, and let's try... <coughs> Let's try uh, 100 and see what that looks like. Okay. Let's go ahead and run that. Ooh. Okay. Oops. I did that wrong, didn't I? KP equals 100. Papers. Get it right. Okay, I got it that time. Okay, and you can see that uh, we're much closer to that one, that step of one, than we had. So let's try, and we know that the error in the system is going to be KP over KP plus 40. So let's try uh, 500 and see what happens. Oops. Might help if I put the KP in there, huh? 500. So this is going to give us a smaller air, uh, steady state air. Let's see what we get here. 
Uh, but we get a lot more overshoot over here. Uh, so, but let's go ahead and try one more. Let's try. Uh, let's try 2000. Okay. Uh, let's go back and do this, and then we'll save this video, and then we'll add the integral portion of this. Okay, and we can see we get a lot of overshoot here and a lot of uh, vibrations back and forth from this proportional controller. So that's not what we really want.